Hello Wisconsin business owners or anybody on Meetup in general. I'm about to show you how to create a profile in each individual group. So you want to start out coming to meetup.com here. And when you're in meetup.com, this is your main profile. This is your main Meetup profile. So you want to click on, if you have an image already there, that's your image. You might have just a general image that's not your face. Whatever it may be, you click on that and that's your profile. So this is the main meetup profile. So within this main profile you're gonna see all the groups that you're a member of, your interests where you're able to edit right here, and as well as your photos. You're able to change your photo. This is the, when I say change your photo within when you're in here, coming to this icon here and going to profile, this is your main meetup profile image. You're able to change that here if you have, I only have one, so if I had a bunch of them, it would say more than one and you're able to come check that out. Uh, right here is, you can either choose hide my bio from others, which I don't recommend, especially if you're part of the WIS owners group. But you edit it right here, you click edit, and then you type in whatever it is, bio, whatever bio that you want. I also highly recommend copying this. You can use a... Uh, uh, keyboard shortcuts to copy. If you're on a PC, it's Control C. If you're on a Mac, it's Command C. And when I say C, that's Charlie. So Command or Control Charlie. And then when you paste it somewhere, it's Command or Control V. V as in Victor. And you're able to just easily uh, copy paste across the board. So after you set up your main meetup profile, you want to come down to whatever group it is that you, you, uh, you want to create a profile in. I highly recommend creating a profile in every single group. So now I'm on a group that I'm a part of, which is the Wisconsin Business Owners. I'm coming over to my uh, group profile. The group profile is right here. If you see that, because this profile from is for Meetup, the Meetup.com website in general. This profile is for the group. There's two different profiles that you have. So I can have this image here, and if I wanted a whole different image, I'm able to come here. And you can have multiple images loaded. So if I had more than one image, I'd be able to go right or left, whatever that may be, and then set that as your main profile image for the group. And then you can always delete images, like, oh my god, it's like I gotta go to you, it's like I don't want anyone to see that. Delete. No more. So, uh, you're able to see... Um, obviously the other groups that you're a part of, but when you're in the group profile, you're going to see many uh, different questions to answer. This introduction, the introduction here is for every single group. Meetup has, is automatically asks for an introduction. That's why when I said control, like copy, uh, copy your bio from this profile, your member boat profile, you're going to be pasting it, I personally paste it into this introduction part here. Every single group is completely different. So these questions right here, you're not going to find in every single group. It's, so it's a matter of what questions you want to answer. I chose not to answer these questions for some reason. After this video, I'm going to go back and fill these in. But every single group is different with all, all the questions that they ask. The introduction, you can have your introduction completely different for every group. I prefer my, to keep mine the same. And to do that, after you come come into the group that you're in, you click on My Profile, you just want to click Edit Profile. And when you click Edit Profile, this is where you would paste the introduction. You can hey, use my Facebook photo. I'm, I, don't, I don't even want to bother uploading. Why upload? And then you answer all those other questions, and then make sure you click Save. After you click Save, then you're able, able to come right back to the group. Uh, and now, like I said, you're going to have to do that for every single group. So I'm a member of 33 groups. So what I do is I actually, anytime I change this bio here, I right-click every single group. I open them all in a new tab. And then once I open, I have an entire bar full of uh, meetup groups. You're able to see all my groups, and then it'll, it'll come down. Just right-click, open a new tab. And I just come here and come to my profile, and I just click edit profile and change what I need to change and so that all my meetup introductions are the 